Brian, I have been thinking about atomic mechanisms in steels. The shape deformation of a displacive transformation must have consequences. Well, it is not a coincidence that bainite and martensite are in the form of thin plates, whereas ferrite is not. What do you mean? How does the shape deformation influence the shape of the transformation product? The shape change involves a large shear on the habit plane, together with a volume change. For transformation under constraint, the strain energy is minimum for a plate shape. I see. This also explains why mechanical twins which cause shear deformation are thin plates whereas annealing twins which grow by diffusion are not. Good analogy. Reconstructive transformations involve mass flow which removes shears. The ultimate shape is then determined by interfacial energy minimization. So a displacive transformation is a deformation which also changes the crystal structure. Correct Simon. And it represents a larger deviation from equilibrium than reconstructive changes in structure, since displacive transformations are dominated by strain energy. Thank you. I am off to play squash now. Have fun. But don't forget, fluids cannot support a shear stress.